Hey FlossTube, how are ya? Um, I'm back with an update on um, the whips I've been working on and I have a little bit of haul and then I wanted to talk a little bit about my plans. I've actually, and actually maybe I'll start with my plans. I, um, if you saw my videos for Stitch Mania, uh, I did have several new starts. I started out with eight whips and I did more of a whip mania and, um, but I did, I used the Tiny Decisions app and it had a, a, one of the choices was a new start and so I had five new starts and so I was up to 13 whips and I'm just, I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all the whips that I have so um, I decided I wanted to really focus on doing some, you know, on finishing uh, some things, um, having some FOs. So I've decided what I'm going to do is one of my big projects. I've decided I'm going to work on it, um, with the goal of trying to get it done in time to frame for my daughter's birthday. And that's my, um, uh, my Mirabilia, my, um, Petite Mermaid. And then, um, I'm going to choose in the meantime, while I'm working on that, um, I'm also going to choose uh, one of the s smaller projects that I think I can finish in a reasonable amount of time for, um, you know, to, to get some, some things off of my list. So, uh, so anyway, so, so that's kind of my plan, um, as it were. Um, but I want, so I want to show you, so what I chose for my focus on finishing soon was the, um, this was actually a mania start and this is the Lizzie Kate seasons and I started on summer. And you guys, this is also a couple of firsts for me. This is my first project I've ever done on Even Weave. And it's also the first project I've ever used a petite needle. And I really like using a petite needle. I found it's a, it's a 26 um, petite needle and I find I really like like it. So, um, so anyway, so here is where I am. I'm almost done. Um, I have just the, um, if you look back at the pattern, um, I have just, and I can even, maybe zoom in a little bit for you maybe come on camera I'm sorry this is my touch screen just isn't there we go um, it's a little bit too much so but there you go and um, so the only thing I have left to do is this um, strawberry motif here and then I will be done with this one. And I just want to give you a few of my thoughts on um, using even weave. Um, and and oh, I guess maybe on this pattern. Um, well, I'm finding I love the even weave. I like it. The stitches are actually bigger than the weave of the fabric um, because they, I love the texture that it gives. So, so I am really enjoying how this is looking. Um, one of the things I will say, I do have a few mistakes in here. Um, I got off count on this R and summer, like I was over like one, one square. So, um, so this was a little bit off and I noticed it when I got up to do the whale, um, that the, um, the, where, where the little waves end with the whale, um, didn't, didn't line up quite right. So, um, I ended up just taking off a stitch and I think it's, it's fine. Um, the other thing that I noticed or that I that I did wrong besides that is um, this bottom white stripe on the flag was supposed to go all the way across and I just got I got overly um, excited and did and when I was doing the blue before I did the white and um, and filled in that part and I don't think you can still tell what it is so I am not planning to change it so um, but my other thoughts you guys about about this particular pattern and I am doing um, the DMC conversion of this pattern rather than the um, than the Weeks Dye Works colors because I didn't you know I really just didn't want to spend a money a lot of money on um, and this was clearance fabric that I Monaco that I got at um, Joanne and I thought you know I just didn't want to spend a whole lot um, if to find out I didn't like stitching on even weaves so um, so anyway so I, I do like it I love and I love the result um, but um, but I, I have to say um, with this particular pattern um, I'm not crazy about the colors and maybe the weeks the weeks dye works I would have liked better I'm not sure um, but one thing I noticed that the DMC colors you guys these, these colors are all really warm and to me they're they're very fallish like this um, the kind of like this um, 
this green is kind of an olive green and um, the yellow is kind of a gold um, and it's all really warm. I think it's going to be, I think it's, they're going to be perfect um, for the autumn the autumn portion of this but since I'm not doing them and of course you'd want to use all the, the same colors if you did them all together on one piece but since I'm doing them separately um, I really wish I would have switched out the colors for something a little bit more summery like a little more of a brighter yellow a brighter orange and um, more of a brighter more summery type of green so um, that's those are my only thoughts really on that um, but but otherwise it's it's coming out cute and I'm not gonna redo it um, even with a few little mistakes that I that I do have in there and the other thing um, you guys I've been so focused on the counting that I mean the stitches they're they're not perfect they're twisted they're you know I was just I haven't really worried about it I'm like I just got to get used to to I wanted to get the feel for um, working on this this type of fabric so um, so anyway so I think maybe on the next one I may check I'll probably use the all these the called for colors for the the fall one um, but I think I probably will change it up for spring and for winter um, to colors that I feel match the seasons a little bit better rather than these so um, anyway but that um, so but that is my my thought those are my thoughts on um, using even weave and um, and my plan you guys is really I'm hoping to get this done here in the next week or so and then once I finish this one then I'm going to my, my next um, focus on a finish is going to be um, the uh, this is this, the Priscilla and Chelsea stitch along the Country Cottage Needleworks bless our home and I think I'm the only one who's not done <laughs> um, so anyway and this is what the pattern looks like and this is where I am on it so, um, so I still have quite a bit to go, but this is on, um, 14 count, um, Ada. And I think it, you know, once I, when I'm working on it, it actually goes fairly quickly. So I think I'm going to focus on this one. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do the words. Um, I might just, um, put the, the borders on and call it done. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to put the words in yet, but I'm going to go, go ahead and do the top border and finish all of this and then I'll decide if I want to put the, the words in or not. So um, anyway, so that is going to be my next focus on a finish once I finish this one, which like I said, I'm hoping will be in the next week or so. Shouldn't take me too long, but you know. Oh, and I still have the S to do in summer too. So the, um, the strawberry motif and the S in summer. So that are, that's my thoughts on using even weave and, you know, kind of what I've been doing with it and, um, decided I am, I really am liking it. So, um, I love the result, especially. So, all right. And then the one that I, my big, my big project that I'm going to really try to finish my daughter's birthday. This is the Nora Corbett Leucemia um, Petite Mermaid that I am doing for my daughter. And I really have decided I'd like to try it. My daughter's birthday is at the end of September and I'd really like to get this done and um, get this framed and for her birthday this year. So, um, so anyway, so I've been working on her. Um, like I said, I've just been working on the two projects, um, just with what I feel like doing and want to show you where I am on her. So I've made um, quite a bit of progress. Um, really, I think I started on the hardest part because her hair has like nine colors in it and um, has taken, you know, a really long time. Um, took me a really long time and then but now um, her skin I finished her skin today and then did um, the back stitching today so so all the back stitching is done too um, I haven't started I, I'm kind of curious to bead because I've said before that I actually am doing this on this calls for either 32 count or 16 count Ada or 32 count even weave and I um, scaled it down to 18 count Ada and this is the crystal Ada. I love this. It's really pretty. It's called April Showers by Hand Eyed by Stephanie. Um, but I scaled it down because, you know, the, the Nora Corbett patterns, the petite mermaids aren't as big as some of the, the fancy lady mirabilias, but um, they're big. And, um, and I just didn't know if she would want something that big for her walls. But my problem, I think, is going to be the beading. Um, and if the beads, now that I'm doing it on a smaller count, the beads all the beads may not fit. So all of the, um, 
the open spaces that you see are where beads go. And um, I may have to alter it a little bit. I thought what I would do is I would start, I'd get in as many beads as I could, and then I'd have to probably go back with floss and just fill in if I've got some open, some open squares. Um, and I hope that looks okay. Um, I really think that the, the back stitching has come out okay. This arm is a little bit a little bit wavy um, on the back stitch, but um, the rest of it I think is okay. And one of the things that I did is I had done her hair um, over two, and uh, which is kind of tight on on 18 count um, Ada, or probably would have been on also on 16 or 36 count um, even weave. So what I decided to do, since I'm doing Ada cloth, is I decided to do her skin over one. So there's a difference in texture. Her hair is is much more full than her skin. So there is a textural difference. I don't know if you can pick that up on the video. Um, but I really, I like the way that is coming out. I think that was a good call. Um, there's not as, as good a coverage, but um, because I'm doing this on an opalescent fabric, and if the fabric shows through a little bit where the skin is a little bit light, I don't really mind since she's a magical creature. I mean, it's it's fine if her skin has a little bit of a sparkle to it, in, in my opinion. So, um, so I think that was a good call, and I think, like I said, it, it kind of gives... Um, it's not as dramatic as a finish as doing like skin one over one on a um, higher count fabric, but I think it's it's sort of the same idea in that her hair, like I said, is more um, full and the, the stitches are thicker and then her skin, it's not quite as, as raised and everything. And I think I'm going to do the same thing with her tail. Um, I think on her tail, um, I'm going to do two over two again. So there's the difference. So it looks more, it's thicker and it maybe looks more like scales. I don't know what I'll do with this sash that she's holding. Um, if I will um, do that one over one or if I will um, do that two over one. I'm, I'm not really sure. I'll kind of cross that bridge when I get to it. But um, but yeah, so I'm really going to, I think, focus on um, trying to get um, her done and with, it, with time to frames, which would, means I'd like to get her done by the end of August if possible. And I'm a pretty slow stitcher, so I, I'm hoping um, that 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 works out okay. Um, but but that is my um, my plan for uh, one of my big pro projects, and I'm reserving the right to throw in something else. Um, I might do that. Um, I may start something new. I may. I got that little um, beaded hedgehog, and I haven't ever beaded before, so I may want to do some beading on something else before to practice before I do that on um, this piece that I'm giving as a gift so um, I may do that Let me zoom out again a little bit um, and then I'll show you I do also have a little bit of haul um, I got some things for finishing and some of these are kind of comical um, I did get as I said I really am liking the petite needles so I went ahead and I got this from Amazon I got the size 26 another pack of the um, petite needles. I've never tried the John James, so I'll see um, if those are any good. And then um, I was watching, if you guys have been watching um, the Fat Quarter Shop with Priscilla and Chelsea on there, um, they were showing how they finish with, um, Priscilla was showing how she finish, finishes with hot glue, um, sticky board, and some lacing. And she has these big, long, I guess they're doll making needles. Well, I want, decided I wanted some long needles. I ordered the wrong thing, you guys. Look at these are like the length of my arm. I mean, there is one smaller one in here. Um, these are actually upholstery needles. I actually ordered the wrong thing, but I wanted a long needle um, because that looked like it would be easier kind of for lacing. And she uses it to make, um, to make ruffles. I, I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot of ruffles. Um, farmhouse is not is not really my thing, so I probably won't be doing like a lot of gingham and, and bows and, and faux flowers and things. Um, but because it doesn't really match my house or anything like that. But um, but her technique, of course, I'm going to use, and I totally respect how beautiful her things are. They're just um, not really to my um, decor. Um, preference but um but super super neat so um anyway so I um but I also got some sticky board and they actually sent me I got this on Amazon and they sent me two and I think I only got I have to look back at my order I don't know but so I got some of the and this is the eight by ten um sticky board so I got some of that and then when I was at Beverly's the other day I went ahead and got some um 
some batting um, to go because I like the way it looks when you finish something that has a little poof to it. Um, so I went ahead and got some of this. Um, I know uh, Priscilla had said she prefers the kind that's like 80-20, like 80% cotton, 20% rayon or I don't know, some other probably synthetic fiber, but I couldn't find any that wasn't 100% cotton. So um, I just went ahead and got, I got this. So it was on sale. So um, that should be enough to last me a while. So I got that. And then while I was at Beverly's, um, I uh, they, I was also perusing their um, their clearance aisle, and they had a few kits in there. And um, I actually have this one, um, this Dimensions kit for um, Wish, uh, this little boy with a dandelion. And I remembered my friend Sonia, or... Um, Sonia, I guess is how she says her name. Sorry, Sonia. Um, but I, she was saying how um, she meant she made a comment when I showed that kit that she has sons and she really liked that kit. And when I was there, I found they had another one and it was $2. So Sonia, if you're watching, this is coming your way. <laughs> I picked one up for you. So I'm going to send that to you, to her. And they also had this um, cute, this is also a Dimensions, um, and they had several of these, I only got one, this Dimensions, uh, it's a wild thing, it's a baby, of course a baby sampler, and I don't know that I will um, stitch this as a baby sampler, I don't know, I might, but I, I liked some of the motifs, I thought, you know, I might do that lion, or I might just do that, I might do these as ornaments, or, um, you know, or something else, the panda's cute too, so, um, but it's a full kit, and has, you know, the eight of cloth, and the you know, everything in it that you need. So um, I just went for $4. I thought, heck, I'll, I might use the floss for $4. And then um, I also went, stopped by, uh, on Father's Day, we actually stopped by our um, used bookstore and I found a few more um, old patterns. And so, um, so I picked those up, a few of those up. I thought I would show it to you. I'm trying to zoom out a little bit more. So I found this one by Imaginating, um, and it's called Inspirational Thoughts. And the, But the main reason I got it is um, years ago in choir um, and also in college, um, I sang with a group where we would sing the Messiah. And so um, I really liked this pattern um, it, because it has, you know, it has the, um, the Bible passage on it that has... Um, that's in the Messiah, um, wonderful counselor, um, everlasting father, prince of peace. So um, I got that. I would probably change up the colors um, and maybe only do bits and parts of it. But um, but anyway, so I, for a dollar, I just, I thought I'll, I'll pick that up. So that's kind of cute too, that bird. But um, anyway, I don't do a lot of like Bible stitching, but... Um, but that, like I said, that had meaning to me because of the, of singing it. Um, then also I got this one. This is a leaflet. Who's this by? Oops. Pattern. Um, this is designed by Harriet too. Um, but anyway, I just, it's, it's kind of a quick, um, wedding sampler. And so it was, again, it was a dollar. And so I just picked it up. I don't know if I don't have any plans for it, but I just went ahead and picked it up. I also found um, the Stony Creek um, Welcome Baby, and it has some cute little baby samplers in it and bib patterns and things. And she, um, this was also a dollar, although there are several, um, there are several patterns in here. She only charged me a dollar for it, so I got that. Then I found this Leisure Arts um, Alphabet Scalor, and I can't really show you this because there's it's all patterns, but there's a bazillion alphabets in here, and I thought that could potentially be useful. And they're kind of dated, but I think they could be, you know, um, updated for today's use. And then also found this um, cross stitch from A to Z. I think this book was three or four dollars, American School of Needlework, and it has all kinds of patterns in it by the alphabet. So they're really cute. I thought these, um, this dog one was super cute. Um, a lot of bears and ducks like there were in the 80s, but there's some, there's some cute things in here. So anyway, um, like I said, this one I can't really show you either. It's a nice book. It's got lots of color pictures in it, but there's like a pattern on almost on every page. So anyway, so that is my latest floss tube update. I hope you guys are all doing well. Take care. Bye.